Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 42 of Smack Rose 2008 General Manager Mode and I am going to do something I never thought I was going to do in this entire series. As you can see right here, Edge is upset and he has four weeks left on his contract and pretty much I'm getting sick of him. I don't really do much with him anyway, so I'm going to trade him. And as you can see here, the only people I can trade him for potentially is Randy Orton, Sandman, Marcus Corvon, and Kenny Dykstra. So, it's time to get rid of him. Where is he? Edge. We are gonna get Sandman. He has three weeks left on his contract, but he is happy. Let's do it. Oh! And there we go. We have Sandman, a person who I thought we would never get in this entire game. We got, and yes, he has a lot of wins and a lot of losses. Actually, he's got a pretty good record compared to a lot of people on this roster. I think that, actually, he has the highest record on our roster. Probably CM Punk. Let's have a quick run down here. Actually, Triple H is pretty good. Triple H, it looks like it's going to be. Triple H, anyone better? No. No, definitely not him. Nope. Oh, definitely not Ray. Is it actually going to be Triple H? Oh, Batista's is pretty bad. Elijah, <laughs> Elijah Beg's pretty good. Masters, Masters has the best so far. Masters, it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be Masters. Definitely looks like it's going to be Masters now. He's got a double record. Yeah, Masters. But Sandman, pretty close second there. So, first thing we need to do. Boost up his popularity, it's far too low. Far too low, it's at 85. Pfft. Who even has 85 popularity? Boom! Not Sandman, plus 8. What word? Why does that put him on? 93? Yes, it does. 93. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Bobby Lashley is pretty low there at 89. So let's. 88 even, so let's boost that up for Bobby Lashley. I went the wrong way. There we go. Kaboom! Plus five. Kane was also there. I've seen Kane. I've seen him. He was near the bottom of the list. Let's boost that bad boy up. Kablam! Plus five. Okay, who else is there? Either Chris Masters, Jeff Hardy, or John Cena. I think Chris Masters. I think it's Chris Masters. He has a good record. Let's boost him up a bit. I admire Chris Masters. And kaboom! Plus five. <laughs> so let's check out the popularities now. 100, 100, 100. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 94, 93, 93, 93. 90. No, there's no 92. And then there's 91, 91, 91, 90, 90, 89, 89. We need 92 popularity. We are missing the gap. God damn it. We're missing the gap. Anyway, before we start on our show, let's check out Raw and SmackDown. So Raw got a three and a half star rating. William Regal again not happy for losing. Chavo, <laughs> he's got such a weird smile. Three star match, three and a half, four for that one. And four and a half for the main event. Nice. ECW now, a two star show. Oh, they're going to go down. Kenny Dykstra picking up a win. And JTG winning in the main event. Winning in the name of Dun 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 Dun. No, they didn't even use Randy Orton in that entire show. Actually, they didn't use a lot of people. They didn't use Mr. Kendi. They didn't use Carlito or Edge or Randy Orton or even Marcus Corvan. Actually, that's too many people. Um, I think they did. I can't even remember who they used now. But yes, ECW were going out of business, and it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Let's see if anyone on Raw's got any contracts that are about to run out. Two weeks for Chavito Heat. Ooh, Chavo. So, I can't even check the fan spot because it hasn't changed yet. But, we need to sort out our show. So, we are going to have to match out for the US Championship. And that is going to be, of course, Johnny Nitrous versus the Great Kali Flower. So, let's switch them around there. Boom, there we go. Uh, promo 2 can be another title match hype for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, CM Punk 
in a four-man steel cage match. CM Punk needs to be there versus Umaga, MVP, and someone else who I can't think of right now, so let's just get back to that in a second. We need to check the Power 25. Who's going to be CM Punk as MVP? That is all we have. Where is Umaga? He is not high enough. CM Punk vs MVP in a steel cage match it is. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's just a single match. That is not a steel cage match. There we go. CM Punk vs MVP. Boom! Sorted. Okay, what's next? What's next? Tag Team Championship on the line. In a... Elimination Tornado Tag Match. So the champions, the new champions, Matt Hardy and Triple H, well done by the way. Um, where, it doesn't say partner here, okay. Triple H versus people who just lost, Bobby Lashley and Kane, rematch, re 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 rematch. Actually no, let's put in some new people here. Randomize, 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 boom, Batista and... Boom, Jeff Hardy. <gasps> Not in contention. Okay, let's pin Ric Flair. No, whoa, whoa. Ric Flair and Batista and Triple H. If we had Randy on, we would have evolution in this match. But no, someone's not in contention. I'm thinking it's Batista. So let's put in someone different like Umaga. Oh my goodness, that works. Okay. I feel like I was going to do something there and I can't remember what. Oh yeah, Sandman. Sandman has acquired a roster position. Let's just put him in a singles match. Sandman versus Sean HBK Michaels. What a match for Sandman there. And then finally, let's have a six-man tag match with the remaining people. Boom, there we go. Okay, Ric Flair Nitro. Let's switch out for Batista. Yes, and how about Mark Henry? Dun dun dun! There we go. Very mixed match there, but let's confirm that. We're going to play that match because I want to be Sandman. So let's simulate this one. Mark Henry, Helms, and Kane picked up the win there. US Championship on the line. Nitro gets it back. Umaga and Ric Flair, new tag team champions. Weird. And then in the main event. CM Punk regains his World Heavyweight Championship. So let's play this one as Sandman and let's get into it. The following process is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Michael. And the opponent, the Sandman. So here we go, Sandman and Shawn Michaels. I just hope that Sandman remembers to play to pay his child benefits this time. Oof. Low blow there, boom. <laughs> but uh yes. Sandman's currently in trouble for not paying the child benefits and not very good, not very good Sandman, I'm afraid so, so yeah, <laughs> pay your child benefits next time please, thank you, uh, he sh of all people he should be able to have money to pay for something like that, I mean, he was a professional wrestler on television, of course he's going to have some money, um, obviously just wasted all he thought. That since he had a probably B or C list celebrity status, he could just spend money on and on expensive stuff, and then he spent too much, and now he probably lives in an apartment somewhere. And uh, yeah, not good on him. Not very good. So yep, pay your child benefits. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going on a rant about Sandman, but uh, yeah, he was a pretty <laughs> all right wrestler back in the day for ECW and that was the Undertaker taunt that was a weird taunt as well hmm. he was like 
the type of person you would see at any random like CZW event where they go overly extreme and they would definitely not make it in any major promotion but he actually did for a while <laughs> ECW and uh, whoa 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 I don't know how that animation ended up like that but okay of course I don't think Sandman ever wrestled on Smackdown or Raw because it's Sandman he's not really that good um, but you know he's the type of guy who you'd see at extreme events and I don't think he still wrestles now or at least I would hope he doesn't he was pretty old and he definitely still is pretty old and I don't know what his finish is I think it's from behind actually Hmm. Let's see if I can actually hit a finisher this time. I don't think I'll be able to. I think it's too late now. No, I, I don't even know why his finisher is. I think it might be a floor finisher now I think about it. And I've lost a finisher. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try and get another finisher and try that again. With the elbow, just shoves and stuff and oh, Bad news, Brown. Anyway, going for a camel clutch now. Is he going to tap? Let's wrench it out. No, he's very bad at submissions as well, by lots of things. That big kick missed. <laughs> okay. No problem. Oh, no, he missed again. He missed again. Oh, no. Sandman, come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, get up. There we go. 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 Yes. Boom. Knockout punch. Kick him and punch him and get him on the mat. Oh, that kick just keeps missing. Whoa, 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 stop running. Oh, what a neck breaker. Come on, what's your finisher, Sandman? It can't be on the top rope, can it? No, it's not. It's definitely not. I don't know what his finisher is, and I don't know how you figure it out. And I've lost it again. Okay, well... It's been nice, Sean. Boom! Knockout punch. There we go. He's knocked out. Go for the pin. One, two, three. There we go. Sandman wins with a knockout punch. Courtesy of Big Show. Okay, not courtesy of Big Show. Hold on. Is Big Show on this game? I don't think he is. Wow. Why is Big Show not in this game? I honestly don't think he is. I'm gonna have to check after this one. There's Sandman though, he's got his own custom <laughs> ending. He's gonna bust himself open. Nope, no he's not. Unless he starts hitting himself again. Yeah, Kendo Stick! Which wasn't involved in this match at all. What a thug. What a thug. Wow, I'm actually surprised though. Is Big Show on this game? I really don't think he is, now that I think about it. But Sandman happy with the win anyway. Because he's a loser now. Oh! Burn! I'm really curious. Come on, I need to know if Big Show's on this game. I don't think he is. Oh god, someone got injured. Oh god! A giant Nitro out for two weeks with back spasms. Ugh. Anyway. Roster. Edit available roster. B B B B. Big Show's not there. Why is Big Show not in this game? Hmm. Interesting. Also, by the way, if you're wondering why I can't get legends, like I said on a couple of episodes ago, you can't get money apart from playing 24/7 mode, and I can't play two separate modes, which is stupid. So I can't get any money at all. Anyway, skip forward. Whoa, I got plus three there. Why did I get plus three? Carly's contracts run out, but I think I might have got five so much. Three and a half, three and a half, four and a half, four, and five star match. Yes, I knew it. Own edge. Own edge. Four and a half star show. Anyway, what was this? Oh, yes, I already checked this, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, let's renew Carly's contract. There we go. I am really running low on money. Okay, there we go. Boom, done, sorted. And is anyone upset? No one is upset. Better not be upset, otherwise he's getting fired. Like Edge. Where is he? Oh yes, that is right. He is not on the show. <laughs> okay. Well, let's check the fan support. I am going up again. Raw staying equal and ECW has zero viewers. They are out of business. Wow. I didn't expect to get zero viewers. Hmm. Anyway, I've just thought if we if we start 
with three million fans each, that would be three, six, nine. How come, if you add up the fans, we have nine million four hundred thousand? Where did that extra four hundred thousand fans come from? I don't understand. Anyway, it looks like it's just me and Raw now, in the run-ins here. Me and Raw, um, because ECW is out of here, even though they're still part of the Power 25 with their three people, four people, um, somehow they are still in there. I don't know how Gregory Helms is up in second, I really don't. Until there was zero challengers for the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Hmm. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, zero challengers for the World Heavyweight Championship. Hmm, that's probably not good, actually. But let's check out the ratings and everything anyway. Let's check out popularity-wise. Boom, everyone's pretty good. Everyone is really good. Fatigue on MVP and CM Punk. Not so much. I mean, where's Johnny Nitros? There he is. He's in third there. For fatigue, he is out for two weeks and a minor injury, so I don't want to push it. Um, huh. I could put down CM Punk and MVP's popularity by 15, putting them on 85 each. And then boost them up once to 90. Oh, God. Now, put down their fatigue by at least 20 or 30. Is it worth it? Probably not. Um, hmm. But yes, anyway, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, you know what you got to do. Like up the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Now, see you next time.